Welcome back to another vlog. If you haven't already noticed, behind me, the walls are done. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. And I'm working with Portola Paints and their Roaming Clay. They have tons of color options, so I was able to match this color to my laminate, which is awesome. And unfortunately, at the beginning of this video, I'm missing some footage of installing the wall. We're just gonna get right into it. The wall is mounted and I'm routing out my window frame. So that's out, check that out. Can't complain about that. The router is definitely one of my favorite tools. That just cut this like butter. Since the last shot, I went ahead and finished the driver's side just because I needed the footage to create a reel for Instagram. This is what that looks like. And there's a little walnut bump out. So right now, I'm gonna replicate this onto the passenger side. And after that wall is up, it'll get primed and then we're onto the Roman clay. While we're at it, let's see what Abby's up to. It looks really good in here. <laughs> my jacket. <laughs> I like your jacket. I don't think we've seen this yet. This is all new. Oh yeah, with the pebbles. With the little pebbles. What I just found out is that you can't grout over spacers. So I have you to get left those your out. spacers in. <laughs> I let the glue cure. So now I'm gonna have to go in and like scoop them all out and hopefully I don't crack a tile. Let's try to see you get one. Okay. <laughs> That's not gonna, oh no way. You got it? It's just a matter of whether or not I can grab them. This is really cool. Yeah. The and gold, the gold profile. Accent. And then I'm gonna fill the seam in with the cutest color grout. This is all prep work right now, so. This is like the one thing in the van that you can always turn to now and be like, I yeah. finished it. Yeah, I can just sit in here and admire. So I took the wall out just so I can take the measurements and cut that little walnut bump out that's gonna go right here. So here's the bump out, and as you can see, it goes down in here about that far. So it's like a little cubby, can hold your phone. Right now, I'm gonna take these pieces of one inch pine and glue them back here, and then brad nail from the front and from the side. And that'll be extra support for holding this in place. Now I'm just taking a drill bit to go in here so that I could fit a wire because there's gonna be some indirect lighting in these. Perfect. Before I can put the bump out in, I have to spray paint this window black. It's not gonna be seen from the inside, but from the outside, if I don't paint it black, you're gonna see the back side of the wall and wood. So I've taped on this side and I'm just gonna spray paint this whole thing. And just before painting this, I made sure to clean it off with rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna let this dry and give it coats until it's completely black. While I'm waiting for that window to dry, I'm gonna apply Bondo to this capsule right here. I'm gonna be applying Roman clay here, and it needs to be smooth, and this fiberglass has a rough texture. I was able to get all the Bondo on and sanded, and then I taped this window, because now I'm gonna prime it with automotive primer, and then do a test piece with the Roman clay. This is the wire that's gonna be in the cubby that I drilled earlier. So I'm pushing that through. All the screws are in, so the wall is permanently mounted. I'm gonna take this two part wood filler, fill all these holes, sand it, and then prime it. This looks awesome. Thanks Lucas. The arch, like yeah. the shower, everything. Well, it looks awesome when you're in it. Oh, what? Only when I'm in it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a race against time here. Oh, yeah. This is epoxy grout, so if it dries, I'm screwed. Look at the difference, guys, between a grouted wall and a non-grouted wall. Grout is everything. It's crazy how much grout makes a difference oh here. God. Well, okay. we'll check in later. Look who decided to show up. It's time to sand this wall, but I can't do that without 
a mask, and some goggles. Look at the birds. Oh yeah. What? I was just saying, pretty nice sunset. I know, this is magical. The birds are out like crazy. I miss summer. Well, this is summer. This is summer. This is summer. <laughs> yeah, summer's awesome. Are you stirring your grout? Yeah, you're supposed to use a big mixer on these, like a, the bit you put on the end of the grill. Uh huh. But I'll do Abby style. Good old Abby style. We'll get the job done. We need some more Abby styles for the vlog. I love this. I know you. Guys, I did a test piece of my roaming clay, so this is what's going to be on the walls. Let's show you. This is my color roaming clay with a white primer base. I'm pretty excited for this. I don't know if you guys can tell, can you? He oh, loves yeah. his roaming clay. I do love my roaming clay. <laughs> I like it like you love your shower tile. I do love my shower tile. That's a wrap on this wall. I'm gonna get back to it tomorrow and start applying roaming clay. I'm calling it a night. It is laid out. Let's see what Abby's doing. Hello. She's gonna get scared, watch. How should I do this? Hello? <laughs> Bye. It's time for the first coat of Roman clay. The color is Prospect. And this Roman clay is from Portola Paints. I'm using a six inch drywall knife and that seemed to work fine on the other side. So let's get going on this. The first coat of Roman clay is definitely daunting. Uh, it doesn't look like much. If anything, it looks terrible. Once this gets sanded down, I'm sure it'll look a lot better. After the second coat, I'm sure it'll look fantastic. Let's get Abby's reaction. Wow. What do you think? I mean, the lighting's not doing anything. <laughs> look at the suit. Demolished. Oh my god, it was time for some out of character. I th actually think it's supposed to go on thin from all the videos. But I'm assuming you watch the video. Uh, kinda. <laughs> it's uh, quite interesting. Alright, so I let this dry overnight and I ended up watching a little video about how to install this and I put it on way way too thick. So right now I'm gonna sand most of this down and then put it on a lot thinner this time. I successfully did that on the Instagram side and it looks fantastic. Here's a little sneak peek of the Instagram side. Right now I'm gonna sand and then I'm gonna cut to me applying that second coat. I'm very dusty. My lens is dusty. Wait, can you shoot my lens first? I don't know if it's gonna be effective. <laughs> Was it? Is there water? Look at the rest of the camera. No. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to apply the second coat. This time, I'm going to be using a four and a half inch knife instead of a six inch knife. I found that this worked a lot better on these walls because there is a curve all the way down. So I can't pull the knife sideways or else the corners are going to create streaks. So the smaller the knife in this case, it seems to be the better. Now that this coat is done and dry, I have 400 grit sandpaper. I'm lightly sanding over the whole surface and then I'm gonna do one last coat. Before I get this final coat on, let's go see what Abby's up to. Well, hello. The good old Abby Diaries. Abby Diaries. <laughs> Welcome to Abby's Corner. This just made the biggest difference. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, so these are all sealed too. So they're nice and warm toned. And of course I got to, I forgot to seal these, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but I don't think I need. What do you mean seal? Yeah, there's a sealer you put on the rocks before you grow, and it, it's like polyurethane basically for, for tile. 
I didn't do it, but. But this looks it. good. It's an LED light strip. That runs the whole arch. Uh huh. That's gonna be cool. Be the showstopper. Looks good. Thanks. Check back next time. Abby is gonna help me get some B-roll shots right now. She's, of course, eating her honey. It's that time. This, this is like three jars later. <laughs> no, this one's fresh. Oh my god. You got that yesterday. No, you started I this, today. I bought this this morning. Really? I mean, yeah. No, I did. Oh jeez. I bought it at the grocery store. All right, so I have 800 grit sandpaper just to lightly go over everything before I put that clear coat on. Again, I'm doing all this with Portola paints and Roman clay, as you can see here. So this is the Roman clay top coat, and I know it adds a sheen. It also makes the surface more durable. You're able to clean off grease and water without that affecting the surface below. I'm gonna leave you guys with some close-up shots of the wall. Unfortunately, it is pitch black outside and I only have a bright white light, but if the shots are that bad, I'll just wake up tomorrow and shoot some B-roll in the sun. But let's see how they turn out. And to be expected, those shots were terrible. So we're gonna cut to tomorrow morning and shoot some B-roll. And as always, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.